What is a game? It's not something that you might think about in your day-to-day -day life, but since you're going to make a video game, it's a fundamental question to ask yourself. We've all observed a small child or a beloved pet running around and using their imagination and making lots of noise, but at what point does that playfulness become a game? By the end of this course, we'll have made a game that can be played on both Windows and Mac OS X. Players will control a frog that has to hop around a swamp to collect flies. Meanwhile, a predatory bird will chase the player around. The object of the game is to collect as many flies as possible before the bird gets you. And by the way, don't worry if you've never made a game before or have no experience programming computers. I'll teach you step by step and teach you how to write the code to make this game come to life. Defining what a game is exactly is difficult. There are many different examples of games that follow rules that you might not think of as game-like. For example, you might think of a game as something that you can win or lose, but in a game like SimCity where you're trying to build a successful metropolis, there's no way to definitively win the game. It just goes on forever. However, there are some basic things we can identify across many games like user interaction, clear rules, having a goal, and keeping score. Determining how a game is played is the role of the game designer. The game designer is one of the three major job roles in the game creation process. Game designers figure out how a game should play. They create the rule sets and game mechanics that form what's called gameplay. We'll talk more about game design in an upcoming video. Game artists are the people that make anything you see in a game, including everything from 3D models, textures, user interfaces, and more. If it's something that you can see visually, then chances are that a game artist worked on it. This category is a little fuzzy, but it can sometimes include the people that make sound effects and music, as well as people that write for story-driven games. In this course, we will not be making game art, because it's important that we first learn how to put together a game with code. The 3D models and textures we need will be included in the project files in upcoming videos. However, if you are interested in game art, be sure to check out the notes associated with this video for some helpful resources. Finally, there are game programmers. This is the area we're going to focus on the most. Game programmers write almost all the code that makes the game work. Sometimes game designers will write smaller pieces of code to script bits of functionality or character dialogue, or a game artist might write a special program called a shader that helps change the look of the game. But the vast majority of code is written by game programmers. Now that we have some sense of what games are, the major roles that come together to create a game, and what this course will focus on, programming, we're ready to move forward.